Welcome back everyone to the BD1P random character streak. Today is going to be a random tainted character run as is normal for our uh, even number wins here. Today's question of the day, put your answer in the comments down below, is going to be in the last like month or so, what is the most expensive thing that you've bought for yourself or as a gift? Whatever. What is the most pricey thing that you have bought in about the last month or so? I have a story to tell today, uh, a pretty interesting one that, that, that kind of just encapsulates like what my life is like. And another tainted bethany run okay I, I can live with this she, she's a fun character uh seed is going to be c x g d z h w eight we have a, a early meat plus demon baby all right but as most of you know I, i'm a pretty a pretty home guy i don't like I'm, I'm very i'm a homebody i don't leave my house very often uh because i am happy where i am i don't really need to do anything i'm not a very you know outgoing person when it comes to you know wanting to go outside and stuff like that i i go from my runs i go to the gym and that's pretty much it but today uh, was a special day because I got some money for Christmas from my grandparents and I wanted to spend that uh, and, and just, you know, some nice quality of life, you know, home living type stuff. And I decided we decided to buy a, a new TV today. It was it's a, it's a fire TV. It's an Amazon based one that actually is a really, really nice looking. It was like 300 bucks, but it, it's a very nice TV. I'm glad that I bought it because we've had the same like, you know, $60, just really tiny TV for the longest time. And you know what? Yeah, we, we might as well grab this. Uh, but Bob's Rotten Head is kind of better. But using this in one room just to get some extra enemies killed might, might be a better option here. Also, XL Floor starting off here is kind of interesting. But I bought we bought a Fire TV. Uh, we bought a new controller for the Nintendo Switch because we're running out of controllers for that. And we also ended up buying um, a pair of headphones for my girlfriend's brother and then some batteries. So... Pretty nice trip. Oh, we also bought a box spring for our mattress, which was like another 200 or so bucks to make it, you know, a more comfortable sleeping experience. So we, we spent quite a bit of money today as, as, a, as a household. We spent maybe like 500 bucks, which is it's a lot for us. We don't spend that much money, to be honest with you. Uh, but to get our TV and to get our, our batteries and stuff, we went to Best Buy, which is like the place to go for electronics and, and things of that sort. And we're in the store. We're walking around, looking at the Switch games and the controllers and all that good stuff. And, and this man uh, comes up to us. And this man, he's like maybe like 65, I would say, on average. Uh, if I had to take a wild stab, he's probably like 65, 66 maybe. And he goes, hey, do you kids like Subway? And that, that's like a red flag. right? That, that's like a big red flag right there. right? No old man asks like a group of like teenagers, do you guys like Subway? It just He's going to kidnap you. He's going to do some bad things to you. That, that's what it seems like to me. Uh, and, but my girlfriend being Desi, she's like, oh, I love Subway. And I'm like, okay, Desi, let's not interact with this person. They might, might be a creepy guy. I just move away from this right now and go somewhere else. But she goes, no, I love Subway. And the guy goes, oh, that's great. I have these coupons right here. Do you want them? And I'm like, oh, he's just going to give us coupons? Like, is he wandering around this Best Buy day in, day out, just giving away coupons to kids? Because if, if so, good on you, man. But he, uh, was talking to us and he's like, yeah, you know, I have these coupons, and I don't really go to Subway that often, so here's some, some coupons for you. And I'm like, okay, sure. So we, we got, a, we got a, a coupon for like a $17 three foot long, which is actually a, a decent deal, believe it or not. Although, we don't go to Subway super often, and we get pretty cheap sandwiches anyway. So it's kind of like, there's no point in having this coupon for any <laughs> sort of reason. But it, it's free extra like stuff for, for a meal, I guess. But, excuse me. Excuse me, Jesus. Uh, so, we take this guy's coupon, and he's like, all right, I gotta tell you guys a story. And we're like, okay, what, what's the story? He's like, when you go on a plane, do you want to fly coach or fly first class? And the answer is always, you know, you want to fly first class. So we say, oh, I, I'd rather fly first class. He goes, good, because right here, with this coupon, you can buy any kind of sandwich you want. You can buy anything. You don't. You can. You can load your sandwich up. No matter what's on it, it'll. Uh, two active items. Are you for real right now? <sighs> Damn, that sucks. Uh, you can load up and buy whatever you want on these. It's, it's only gonna be, fifteen bucks. No matter what's on these things. So, go hard and buy a bunch of stuff. And I'm thinking to myself, like, yeah, no shit, dude. Like, we understand how economics work. But he goes on like, like a, I would say a five minute tangent about. How we should use our coupon for good. And I'm like, okay, at this point, dude, just keep it for yourself and use it yourself. Because I don't want to have to, like, <laughs> sit here and hear you talk about this day in, day out. Because I just want to get my TV and get out of here. But he, he was a nice guy. But it's just, like, what what is with all, all the weird, like, nice... Ooh, 
those are two good items right there. Like, what is with the weird food stuff recently? First, it was the random candy cane stuff on my doorstep that I ended up eating anyways because I'm, I'm a little bitch. And now it's the, the, the subway guy walking around the Best Buy just handing out free subway coupons to random kids. And listen, man, you know what? Like, more power to him. I'm not going to diss him because we did it. And at the end of the day, we got, a, you know, a, a no holds bars, you know, extra money off our subway meal. That's pretty nice. I respect that a lot. But when you're in that position, like when, you're, when you are the man in that position... You gotta have some, like, deeper, like, thought processes there, right? Because you walking around uh, a, a Best Buy with just free Subway coupons in your back pocket and you're handing it out to random kids, like, not everyone's going to feel uh, as, 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 like, appreciative as, as we were because it, it's a creepy thing. In this day and age when, like, there is so much rhetoric around stranger danger, especially online and just, like, in public with all the stuff that's been going on recently, like... It's not going to be really taken. He's trapped in there. Look, look at how dumb this Duke of Flies looks right now. Hey, hold on. Nice freeze. Nice freeze. Nice freeze. He's done. Get him out of here. I am not going to walk into my devil deal no matter what you say. It's not worth it as this character. Angel is 100% better. Okay. Great items from our boss. Really bad items from our, our, our item rooms' this floor. Uh, but so far? Ooh, sulfuric acid. That is a, a lovely thing to see right here. How is that? Oh, we're in the boss room right now. <laughs> we are in the boss room. It's got to be over here somewhere. We'll use this to open up our super and, and regular secret rooms here just because... Uh, why not? I mean, we have we have the option to. We should be doing it. We definitely should be. But like, there, there's it, it's just a weird thing to be doing. And I respect the guy for just trying to do a good thing for some random teenagers. But not everybody is going to feel the same way. And honestly, my first thought was like, oh, damn, we're going to get scammed or kidnapped right here. And there's no in between. So I, I was just kind of like taken aback as to why that was happening. Uh, aside from that, nothing else really interesting happened today. Uh, I got my TV set up in the first like five minutes. Very easy installation there. Nothing to complain about. It was actually very simple, to be honest with you. What, what I kind of don't like, though, about the, these newer TVs is that they're more software than hardware, I feel like. I, I find myself, you know... Like, I don't think you should ever have to, like, update a TV. Like, when I'm, 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 I'm from the generation when I was a kid. You, you get a CRT TV, and that's pretty much all you have. You don't really get anything else. It's just a CRT, and that's your TV for a long time. Nowadays, we got all... I'm not going to sound like a boomer to you guys, but we got this, like, this super weird, like, make sure you update your TV, make sure you update your fire stick. It's like, why? What's, what's the point in doing this? Like, just give me the damn TV. Give me the software that I need to, you know, to watch shows and, and, and streaming services. That's all I really need. I don't got to have all this crazy, newfangled type of stuff. It, it just is not worth it. Oh, we have Sulfur Acid Keeper's Kin. I'm looking for money here for a Soul Heart or, like, a battery or some shit. Because, like, I just need to make sure we're going to be in a good place. Because this this run, like, Pain of Bethany is a great character. But so much can go wrong if your HP is, is not in a good place. It's hard to get HP as this character. It really, really is. Okay, I, I set up spiders for your boy. Let's just move on down here. Any more? There's some more beautiful. We'll go downpour. It'll be downpour two right away. Very nice for us. We'll do it. We'll do it. I just found out weird that he was handing out free subway coupons in a Best Buy. It might just be a paranoia thing again from me, but I mean, I think anyone is in the right to be paranoid there. I mean, come on. Like, it's this. It's the free candy thing from like the 2000s. Like, hey kid, you want some free candy? You know, it, it, we joke about it now, but that used to be a way to lure kids and like it. it would not work with subway coupons, obviously, so it's kind of like a low ball there, but my, my second thought was, okay, he's just going to scam us, right? It, it's just going to, wow. Wait, he's going to push it over to me? Come here. Dude, you're so close. If I bomb you from a, wait, 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 wait. I'm so smart. I'm actually a genius. Big brain plays. Go, 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 go fast. Little blob is going down. Okay, Frieza, beautiful, dude, beautiful. What an easy boss fight. We have maybe a charge we can get off here. Deal or no deal? Deal? Okay, hold on. Could be huge. That's really good. Explosivo is not so much, but still, I'm glad to see it. Okay, so far, so this run is going great. I'll open up the mines door for free right now. That'd be a nice thing to do for ourselves. I'll go mines on. We have the soul now. We can't be killed. We're freaking invincible, man. But aside from that, like last night, I decided to rewatch uh, 
one of my very few like like perfect 10 out of 10 movies uh that being the truman show if you have not i'm not gonna spoil you know how because if you you know it may not you know you may have not seen it so i'm not gonna spoil it but uh i highly recommend it's on hbo right now for for uh free if you have an hbo subscription there so i would say just go give it a shot it's an amazing movie but every time i watch that movie it just gets better like the first time i watched it really really good movie second time i watched it incredible movie third time that i watched it perfect movie like it, it every single time i watch that movie i notice more things i catch more jokes i catch more foreshadowing and it, it just perfectly like builds itself up uh the premise for those of you who are unaware is uh jim carrey plays a guy named truman burbank and truman's whole thing is that he lives inside of a tv show he was born and from the second he was born he's had a camera on him but he doesn't know about it he's his entire life is being recorded you know for the big screen without his knowledge there's a small little bubble like a big set for him that he doesn't know is a fake set and the movie is kind of exploring him realizing what's going on and it, it, it honestly is just like it is such a fun watch and for such, such a small and like i would almost say humorous film it does really explore uh some complex themes that i feel like are are not really you know explored that much anymore like i'm not saying oh, old movies are better than new because that's not true you know there, there are there are great new and old movies out there uh but like there are some things that the truman show does i thought it was plan c and i was pissed off for a minute i, I was like are you kidding me we'll go in here right now because we can get a hopefully soul hearts hopefully like a guppy item here we got a troll bomb that does not hit us thank god am i gonna go mirror no, we don't need to go to the mirror. We're fine with that. Well, let's move on. I'm not going to spend too much time. Last run was like a 40-minute depth to it. I want to go a little bit faster than that. If you if you don't mind. If you don't mind, Isaac. If you don't mind. Uh, where is our secret room, by the way? It's not in any of the obvious spots. Oh, it's right here. Okay, sick. Oh, ghost chest. You can't fool me. Look at your little bitch just frozen up there. Go go to hell. Go to hell. Put a bomb there. Get a free uh, no nickel. All right. Can I, per chance, per... I, I, I could buy 4.5. Um, yeah, why not? It could be fun to use. I don't get to see a lot of battery uh, Lending a Town synergies here, so I'll take it. And just in case our Angel deal is still open, I'm going to buy this for our, our charge here. It also makes... If you want to fight the Angel statue, now we will actually gain charges off of fighting that, which will be really, really good for us. But the Truman Show is just one of those things that I think, ah, it's closed. Oh, well, just go to the mines. You're fine. It's just one of those movies that I think that if you haven't watched it, it's a classic. Go check it out. It's, a, it's incredible. It honestly is. It's also Jim Carrey, who is like, once again, uh, an incredible, incredible actor. Uh, I, I think that he, he is not like, you know, he's in the big leagues, obviously. He's a very, you know well-known household name uh but i when i think of like my favorite actors he's not really up there i'm not saying he's bad he's a, he's a very good actor but uh out of all of his performances like you know ace ventura uh truman burbank you know the guy from the mask <laughs> also the mask like they're memorable but i just like other actors more like i've, I've always been a big fan of of um Harrison Ford, as everybody knows, I'm a big Indiana Jones fan. It, it, it's in my DNA. I grew up watching those movies, and I, I still watch them to this day. They're very, very fun. He's also, you know, great in Star Wars and stuff like that. He's a very basic actor choice, but I, I still appreciate him a lot. I think he's a great actor. Um, I'm a big fan of Willem Dafoe. I love... Um, oh, there's one actor... I, can, I can't, like, think top of my head, like, who I like a lot, but... There is one that whenever I see he's in a movie, I, oh, Jake Gyllenhaal. I love Jake Gyllenhaal, too. I think he's got some very good performances as well, especially in his movie Enemy. Enemy is like, uh, I don't know what you would call Enemy. It's like a mystery thriller movie about uh, doppelgangers. And again, like he's incredible in that movie. It's just, I don't care who the actor plays. I don't care if their roles are the same every single time. Like A lot of Gyllenhaal's roles are very similar. If you can just play that character well, like, if, here's a good example. It's Ryan Reynolds. I hate Ryan Reynolds. I think he's a terrible actor, and I think he only knows how to play one character, and that's it. And without Deadpool, he would be a no-name. He would never have been casted again. He would have been complete shit, etc., etc. I don't think he's a good actor at all. 
I don't even like Deadpool that much. Deadpool's kind of a, a, you know, a bit too quirky for my liking. But he learned how to play that character well, and now he sees massive success because of that one archetype, the kind of quirky, you know, main character, fourth wall breaking kind of dude. Think of Free Guy. Think of, again, Deadpool. Like, he just plays the same person day in, day out. And I don't think he plays it very good, but he has found critical success in doing so, so good for him. Now, with Willem Dafoe, there's an actor who is super versatile from playing roles like Spider-Man to uh, the Captain in the Lighthouse. The Lighthouse, his performance in the Lighthouse, holy shit, dude. Willem Dafoe in the Lighthouse is, is one of those experiences that you just can't forget. I got two little brimstones there. Okay, I'm not going to complain. That, that's very nice for DPS. His Lighthouse performance, though, is like one of my favorite from him. Like, there, there's a really weird area of like actors who play the same guy every movie and aren't very good at it. Now, Jake Gyllenhaal plays a lot of similar roles. Like, all, all of his, like, kind of one-off films, whether it be, like, um, what was the most recent? It was the 9-11, or it was the, uh, the guy where he's, like, who, he was, like, the call receiver for, like, a 911 operator. That was a uh, pretty samey role to a lot of his other stuff. Like, he was in, um, Source Code is kind of the same thing as that as well. Like, he does play a lot of the same characters, but he plays that role really well. And always brings like something fresh. I, I think that behind the line uh, is also one of his just most like incredible. Uh, I don't want to call it. It's not method acting, but like he did a great job at portraying, you know, systemic disobedience with cops and stuff like that. It, it really was captivating. Um, and he's not like Reynolds. Reynolds will play the same exact guy, and he will add nothing new to the role in any movie. It, it's the same fucking thing every single time. I don't get the hype around it. I don't think I ever will. I think Deadpool kind of sucks. I, I watched the first one when I was like, like 14, 13 actually in theaters. Um, pop this down, I guess. And then I watched Deadpool 2, like when I bought it on DVD before DVDs came like completely obsolete. Ooh, that was close. So like, yeah, I, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, I, I don't think it's ever been that captivating for me. We have perfection somehow? Okay, we got great. We need, we need speed so bad. Thank God we got that. Oh, uh, we can get some Keeper's Kins here with this boss room. And then I guess we just move on. We did not actually see our item room yet, though, which might be important to go back and look for. Uh, just, just to be safe here. We did get safety pin. All right, that's fine. It, it would have been a black card if it was a, you know, a pedestal item there, but I digress. Uh, where is our item room at, game? Show it to me. Show it to me. And also, 4.5 is great uh, for our book right now, because if we wanted to, we could save Scum to get infinite charges off of it and just get a bunch of Wisps over and over again. However, I'm kind of against save Scumming. I'll be real with you. Uh, uh, you had to, huh? You just had to. Okay, we, we can live with Curse of Tower. We're going to be A-OK, -okay, don't worry. But I don't know. There's a weird, very, like, separate archetype of actors who play the same role over and over and add nothing versus actors who add something but play the same guy over and over now Hall has had some pretty unique roles as well uh donnie darko was one of his first breakthrough roles and that was and still is an incredible movie it, it, it's not a 10 out of 10 for me but it is it is up there like i just it's one of those again it's, it's a classic movie uh and i know i'm kind of like doing the whole film twitter thing by just listing off a bunch of semi you know unknown like i guess they're actually pretty well-known movies like, like semi you know artsy films which is not the case they're genuinely good movies and i think that if you haven't watched either of those go check it out because again they're one of my favorites and if you like what i talk about here you'll probably enjoy those movies as well we'll fight our boss right away i i feel okay fighting gideon right away and we'll pop this down right here just so we have a little bit of coverage there we're gonna get a charge back here um does, does hitting gideon give us blood it does not. Okay, very sad, very sad. But it's still it's still good coverage for later on, I guess. It lasts for quite a long time, too. It's going to end off here pretty soon, if I do recall. Yep, there it is. But yeah, I don't know. I just there, There's a weird like area of, of Ryan Reynolds-esque actors who can't really do anything aside from what they were told to do in their first big movie, which was for Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool, I believe. Um, I, I don't know what it... Honestly, I couldn't tell you a single thing that Reynolds did before Deadpool. I couldn't tell you a single thing, because honestly, I don't think it was very good nor important. Uh, 
I might just be un uneducated on the whole thing, but genuinely, I don't think I've seen. Woo, baby. A Reynolds movie that uh, A, wasn't trash, or B, was unique. And I, I know, I'm going to get a little bit of hate for that. Because a lot of my fans, I saw last time I brought up Reynolds and how he's a bad actor. A lot of you guys were pretty mad at me. Like, no Reynolds slander on this channel. But I'm going to give you a whole lot of Reynolds slander here. Because I, again, I just, I don't believe in the guy. I, I think he's, he's not that good. Um, are they making a Deadpool 3, by the way? I, I don't think they are, but... It'd be interesting. How do we have so many goddamn familiars? We have another syringe there. Good for us. We haven't seen anything but our boss room on this floor once again. Hilarious. Hilarious. But I I, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. And I, I used to be a big DiCaprio fan. I, I, I've kind of fallen off of that because of his weird uh, girlfriend <laughs> stuff that's been going on recently. Where, if you're unaware, uh, DiCaprio only dates girls who are around 20 years younger than he is. Which, again... It's a personal choice. I get that. You know, they're they're all above. They're all adults. They can all consent to it. But to me, it does not make it any less weird. If you are like 42 dating like a 21 year old. I If someone is half your age, make a change. Make a change. Do we lose sulfur acid? Oh, dude. That's a big L for us. That's a huge L for our, our spider creation here. But I, I, I don't get it. I don't like that. I, I think it's, it's a very... Uh, I don't want to call it gross, because again, they are adults, they are consenting to it, but I, I just, me personally, I find that very weird. I, I think, like, once you're out of, like, high school and, and college and stuff, you can have, like, a 10-year gap, and it's not that weird. I think even in high school, like, if, if you're an 18-year-old senior, and you're dating, like, a 15-year-old sophomore, okay, not my place to judge, I don't really care, again, it's high school, nothing really matters there anyways. Ugh, dude, these items are trash. Complete garbage. Uh, but I do find the 20 year gap, no matter what your age gap really is, if it's 20 years, whether it be like, you know, 40 and 20, 60 and, and, and 40, hell, even like 50 and 30, even even 20 and zero. Like you're you're <laughs> you're crossing a line that I don't realize he, it's so fucking good for us right now. You're crossing a line that I don't really agree with there, and again, it is your personal choice, but just know it is not BD1P approved. But then I, I, I've had friends in high school who, when we were seniors, I started dating sophomores. And while I did find it a little bit weird at first, I also recognize that, like, it's high school. Like, once you graduate high school, you'll, you'll look back and you'll forget, like, anything that happened there. Like, high school is so unimportant in the grand scheme of your life that you will not remember a single thing that was impactful to you. And I'm not just saying that to make you guys feel better if your high school sucks. Because, like, I had a great high school... Aside from that one year where a bunch of a bunch of bad things happened, I had a great high school experience. Huh. That was a not trash item, I guess. But here's the issue. Because we have 4.5, if we want to see any charges off of our book, we have to keep our main active item charged at all moments. As you'll see here, we're going to hit the angel statue here, and we're going to gain a little bit of cash money. Pop that. Little Delirium. Okay, another familiar for us. That's that's all right. Sure, we can deal with that. We can maybe get like another half charge here and then get some red hearts at the end of the fight and then do something with that. I'll pay out this guy for HP and potentially another charge in the angel room here. I don't see an issue with that. We're probably not going to see a natural deal this floor anyway, so what's the big deal? Good key piece. Grab this. And I'll pay you out. Sure. We have Steam Sale for some like half price items in this, this area, so... I'm not too worried about our money anymore. Full charge? Yup. And it gave us Trinity Shield, honestly, man. Worth. Entirely worth. Get another thing here. Okay. Okay. We This run should be fine. Not seeing my HP does maybe... I do worry a little bit about not seeing my HP. It, it is kind of scary uh, at this point in the game when you really... I don't look at my HP less for at all. I don't know what I have right now, and I'm kind of scared for it. But I'm sure we'll get over it. I'm sure we'll get over it. But... A couple channel updates here. Oh, thanks, Pin. Oh, Tower Curse. That's right. A couple channel updates here. Um, the holiday season is closely ending here. And once the new year starts, I'll be back on the two uploads a day schedule here. 
I am not doing it now just because I have people over and uh, I'm just a little bit busy with the holiday stuff. So I don't want to, you know, stress myself out too much doing all that. Uh, we, we do have that happening soon. The double uploads are turning. Uh, a new series with custom art for the channel. New um, channel icon as well coming for the new year too. Uh, it's a new Isaac series that'll happen uh, in tandem with this one. So it won't, it won't take the place of this at all. It'll just be, you know, on the side, it, it is a, it is a like 40 plus modded mod pack series with with a, a friend of mine for co-op so look out for that as well and aside from that i'm moving into some different content here it's gonna still be gaming oriented but i want to do i want to do different things because one thing i've always loved on youtube are our commentary channels and, and as dumb as that may sound because a lot of them get a bad rep you know pyro cynical leafy turkey tom augie you know they all get pretty pretty uh bad reps occasionally because they do some pretty out, out of question things but i've always liked the way the videos are presented and i, I kind of like the deep dives about like you know what happened to x person and i kind of want to start doing those in a way not like you know constantly making videos to start shit because that's not what i ever want to do but i do kind of want to explore that area of 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 the internet and i want to start doing that for, for gaming personalities especially in this when did we gain I guess we did fight two angels, right? I want to do that, you know, in a more and in, in, in the same light as I do my other essays, but in in commentary style because I think that the commentary channels, like, they do good work. I like what they do. Um, you may think, you know, less of certain creators because they do stuff like that, but I have never once on this channel sacrificed a gaming upload slot for any other kind of video. I have done two gaming videos a day uh, for. The last like half a year and i think it's time for some change it's time for some change because i i like what i do i love playing video games but there comes a time when you when you look at your channel and you're kind of like i can keep growing with this or i can continue growing with other things in tandem with this main thing so i'm going to start doing more like commentary uh less gaming oriented videos i'm still going to have the, the focus of this channel being mostly gaming uh, and I also have, I have a couple bigger videos planned already in that same vein. Most of you already know the one person I'm making a video about, which will be coming out uh, hopefully late January, early February. I gotta get, you know, started on that when, when the holiday season ends. And then I have another one in that same fashion about a different Isaac YouTuber that I wanted to talk about for a while. So, yeah, and, and it's like, it, the thing is, like, you might think, I don't want to watch BD1P get involved in all this crazy personal drama stuff, which... I don't think it's drama at all. I think it's just me, you know, putting my thoughts out there like a commentary channel would. And secondly, I just don't watch it. There's no, there's no, I'm not forcing anyone to watch my other content. You know, if I cared about the views on my videos, I wouldn't be doing variety. Because as you, as you guys know from seeing my channel, like variety does not do well in this kind of fashion. And that's fine. I enjoy doing, I'm going to, I'm going to keep doing variety because I enjoy doing variety. I think it's very fun. And it's, for those of you who do enjoy it, you guys like it a lot. A lot of you say, you know. Inscription was is better than Isaac is, and I agree with you. The series is a lot more fun to me than Isaac is, but I still have fun with both. What's in our item room here? Yo, big. But yeah, if you don't want to watch that stuff, then hey, just don't watch it. You know, no one's gonna fault you for not wanting to watch my videos on that stuff because you subbed for Isaac. Just watch the Isaac. That's all right. I'm not gonna sacrifice any kind of Isaac slot or gaming slot for a non-gaming video. But I do think it's important to branch out. I genuinely think it's important to just branch out and do other things and kind of put my channel in a more not even just gaming variety but variety in general channel uh because i don't want to be stuck in this rut where i'm only doing gaming videos for the rest of my life because as fun as playing video games is i'm a creative person at heart and i like to do different styles of videos you know the, the tier list videos are very fun the shit posts are very fun to do i want to do more stuff like that some skits maybe i know kilvin loves doing some skits and that may happen eventually too. Me and Kilvin getting in the same room together. Who knows? Preach as well. But I just, I just think that there, there is a different market that I want to capitalize on for content like that. As it's just a personal thing, you know. It's just a simple personal thing. You know, you, you can choose to watch it or not to watch it. But a lot of you core viewers enjoy the shit post videos a lot, and I want to keep doing those too. But yeah, just a, a, f a few changes coming in the next year here. Just, but in, in terms of like series going on and channel direction but there's always going to be a place to watch isaac here i'm not going to ever change up my style of isaac content it's always going to be this this unfiltered unedited just 
kind of just just hanging out talking to you guys sort of a content no deal hopefully a small rock here maybe that's a crazy nancy bomb that's hp and some more bombs for us for nancy ah don't do that please Thank you for this. I'll pop this once. Spider bite, okay. And down we go. But this is always gonna, there's always gonna be a place in this channel to, uh, ooh, I ripped my shirt on accident. Oops. To just, just watch some Isaac. You know, I'm not gonna ever sacrifice that for anything. I forgot we have stairway. Oh. Thanks for the spirit sword. I appreciate that. One of my favorite items in this game ever. Let's uh, use this and just win. Oh, I have the. Oh God, you're an exploding guy, aren't you? I have the bug uh, <laughs> again, sadly, for. The womb floor. I don't know why this happens to me only. I have no idea. I think it's stage API still, but I, I uninstalled stage API though. So I don't know what the hell is causing this. Uh, I do have some... Oh, I know what's causing it. I know what's causing it. But I can't say what... It, it's a secret project I've been working on for a while that I can't disclose properly. So sorry, I can't say what it is, but I, I now know what's causing this bug here. And I will get it fixed as soon as possible. You're gonna, there's also, I'm starting a, a, a couple other channels, I think. I'm gonna use the second channel again once I start streaming for more stream VODs. Uh, but I also want to start putting just some more, like, shit posts on there. Just, like, random, like, hey guys, today I'm playing Temple Run. I'm gonna play Temple Run and just not talk the entire video. I think those are kind of funny contents to watch. And I, I would personally watch that myself. Well, I was, you know, feeling a luck upgrade there, but I guess range down also compensates. Sure, why not? Um, I, I, I am going to be doing some more just random shit like that because I've noticed in, in the last month especially, uh, the easiest way for me to stay happy uh, while doing YouTube is 100% just, just, just do whatever the hell I feel like, whether it gets views or not. Like, it's been so fun to just, like, just kind of, like, just fuck around and just, like mess around with doing different kinds of shit posts and just different kinds of of gaming stuff like it, it is genuinely really fun and above all else i love making thumbnails so i usually get this is believe it or not when i when i try to get like a funny you know or unique isaac idea uh it usually comes from a thumbnail idea first and then the idea comes second like oh i want to do a thumbnail where i have this and this in there but how would i work that in and i'll think of some crazy isaac challenge to work that into my thumbnail it, it's a dumb process but Genuinely, like it, it, it has gotten me my, my some of my best viewed videos. Like the the thirty character run, uh, was an idea I had before the thumbnail, but I decided to split up that whole saga into like four videos because I had so many thumbnail ideas for it. So I decided to make it into more of a comfort. Oh, okay, do not walk back. Can I not hit this guy? Come here, come here. Am I soft locked? Is my question. I do have these sword beams, I guess, but still kind of annoying. Uh, can I not grab that either? I, oh, I totally can grab that. Hold on. When did we get... Oh, we have Little Delirious Incubus. Right. I was like, when did I get an Incubus? What the hell? But no, it, like, I usually get a thumbnail idea first for a video. Like, I have uh, a Binding of Isaac with Motion Controls video coming out uh, when, I, when I stream that in the next week or so. Okay, Creep. Thank you for that one. And I had the idea for that thumbnail way before I had the idea for the actual video. I, I saw a Kilvin thumbnail that was kind of like, you know, Isaac on the NES. And I was like, oh man, this would look super sick with a Wii remote right there. So what do I want to do? I want to put a Wii remote in that thumbnail and make it the same exact thing. But you know, like have some fun with it too. It, it's a very awkward creative process to have because it does kind of like, it does make it a little harder to do things occasionally. Cause I'm like, oh man, like I got to make this thumbnail first and I'll Make an entire, like, you know, half an hour long thumbnail just for a video that I'm never going to end up doing in the first place. Like, the indie game video has one of my coolest thumbnails of all time. It is never, ever, ever going to see the light of day, ever. Because I'm not going to make the video anymore. This is a pair throw. Big. Big. I should have... Uh, there was no key piece to get there. Don't worry about it. How does chocolate milk... It does not work with this. Okay. Interesting. Continue on. You have uh, another stairway coming up. I'm praying for a sacred heart. I'm praying for a sacred heart right now. I'm praying for a godhead, and I'll buy whatever this is. Sensor is, is close to it, I guess. Buy this, and I'll fight you for some 4.5 charge for my, my uh, Book of Lenega Town here. Oh, it doesn't... Oh, it does charge, but it does charge like from the, the bottom first. Interesting. Okay, I get Sworn Protector, and we'll just move on here. 
The rest of our money is going to go to our future stairways, not to demon or not not to, not to, to judgment beggars there. It ain't, it ain't worth it, dude. It ain't worth it. But spirit sword and salvation, those work hand in hand with each other to make a crazy ass run because you're already playing really melee against the boss. You're gonna get so many holy light beams off and swords at the same time. It's gonna be a freaking cakewalk, dude. But keep keep your Lemiga Talon charged up for angel rooms for extra items there. Keep your uh, your hearts picked up for that as well, and just have a good time overall. And just run with your freaking life right here. Yeah, perfect. But I hope you guys stick around for the new content because uh, I don't know. Like I know a lot of you are just here for Isaac, and I I am a, I am okay with that. I'm glad I have anybody watching me at all. But if you ever find that, if you ever bored one day and want to watch some random YouTube videos, just go go check out what I'm doing. You know, variety wise, and just see if you enjoy it or not. Because the people who decided to branch out and watch it seem to generally love that kind of stuff and i'm glad you guys do because I, it's i have a very like weird opinion of my own humor where i don't think i'm very funny i think i'm funny in my own head when i make a joke to myself because i have a speech impediment and i also like have a just not a very humorous voice when i try to like like put a joke or a quip in a video i always end up like writing it off because I don't, I don't like the joke or the quip by the end of it. I'm like oh it just sounds like shit i don't sound funny enough whatever but I, I just started kind of sending it with the recent shit post, and you guys seem to like be like, ah, oh, it's pretty funny, actually. I'm going to give that guy a like and a sub for that. So, hey, man, you know what? I appreciate that. I appreciate all of that. We'll pop this here. Ah, yes, mom's underwear. My Oh, dude, I want... I'll, I'll spend a key for that. And I'll spend a key for that, too. PJs, full HP, and school bag. Interesting. Don't know if either of these are, you know exactly what i wanted to see right now but it could be i do have a lot of floors left to get active items on you never know you never know i'm gonna say you're right it's this it, i'm probably wrong but i'm gonna say you're right nice kill <laughs> reverse tower oh i was right dude uh can we, we we can't make the hush fight i'd love to fight delirium and reverse tower in there to make the boss fight as hard for myself as possible but we're playing with a melee build right now i don't really want to do that so watch this Salvation to kill both of those guys and lose your holy mantle. That's fine though. Another one, and you're gone. You're living? Get out of here. Please just perish. Thank God. No devil deal, no angel deal. That's fine. We get one at the beginning of every single floor now, so move on up here. Dude, here we go. Godhead. Pascal Flame is not bad. But it, it really is not what I wanted to see. <sighs> a shame. A real shame. We can fight you again. We got... Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll... Wait. Oh, we're half a heart away. Are you joking? I will now play out my beggar to get the extra stuff here. Why not? We, we can buy a 15 cent or a 7 cent item next floor. So I'm fine spending some money here to get an extra charge for in here. And it gave us damage. That actually was, was like, best case scenario right there. Beautiful. Just don't get hit and lose your bonus here. It'll be fine. Get some extra money for yourself in case you get a void floor or, like, an infinitely looping chest for some reason. We gulped matchstick, you know. I was going to drop that end of this floor so I get more chest, but whatever. That's fine, too. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save my red heart charges for the next floor's uh, final angel deal there. And we'll be cool with that. We'll be cool with that. Now, I did not go to, like literally any secret rooms at all this one which kind of i could have seen an arky maybe something like that but we're gonna have a nice quick like 40 minute run here i, I, I say fast i say 40 minutes it's kind of like an oxymoron but we, we we saw a at this point last run we were on depths two uh for like 10 extra minutes so i'm, I'm happy to be done a little bit early here today so i can i can play more inscription <laughs> and uh watch stuff in my new brand new super fancy tv that i have here it actually, it, like, it looks nice. We had one of those, like, life's good, like, 60 bones, like, you know, 30-inch screen. It, it was not very good. And I'm going to sacrifice here, actually. Because we have soul hearts on the ground. And we can potentially get a, a deal here, which could be the items that we're looking for. Thank you, Polaroid. Don't go super deep, but go kind of deep. We got a chest there. We did get holy light, which is actually a really good item. And some more some more hearts. So we did miss our angel deal chance. So I'm not gonna go much deeper on this. 
I could go for seven soul hearts, but I'd rather just save my hearts and go for a more guaranteed couple of hearts out here, plus the ones back by our tinted rock. That's a more, I think, safer bet. But we did get a holy light there, which is going to be really good for our sword because that's going to do another another good amount of holy light shots and, and, and holy, you know, light damage with our, our salvation as well right here. Plus, sacrificing does make your salvation bigger, meaning we can kill Isaac a whole hell of a lot faster. And that's Polyphemus. Okay, 14 damage sword. Uh, that's real fucking good. That, that's like actually unbeatably good. We're going to crush this run. No question in my mind. And we, even with Spirit Sword, which is a really bad item to fight Delirium with, I'm still going to go fight Delirium if we get the chance. And I have, a, I have a key piece for Mega Satan as well. That gives us at most a coin flip chance to see Delirium. So why wouldn't we give it a shot? It, it just seems like a, a free extra way to get more ad revenue here for myself, obviously. Duh. No joke there, but... Yeah, no, I'm excited for next next year. I'm excited for it. I, I'm most excited to get some of my, my bigger videos out of the way so I can work on my smaller stuff again. Because I have this habit on YouTube where... What I'll do essentially is... Get a really big project in my mind... And work on that and only that for like three months and then finally finish it. Whereas, it, it's better for my channel to do like... In the span of those three months, three smaller things, uh, and work on a big thing for like five months in the background, that is a more admissible way to do things, and I should be doing that, but when I start a really big idea, I want to see that all the way through before I start anything else. I want to have my full undivided attention on that one project, and um, luckily for me, I have an amazing uh, part-time editor named Cosbat who... Whenever I ask him if he, if he wants to help, he's always like, oh, I'll help you with this, sure. And it, it, he's, he's an amazing guy. Cosbat is like, without Cosbat, I would probably still not be making videos like twice a day. Because I got on that grind because he, he helped me edit streams for a long time. And that's why I started doing two days, like two uploads a day. And then I just stuck with that. So if, you, if you're watching this far into the video, just comment down below. Thanks, Cosbat. He was, again, one of, one of the, the pillars of, of this... Um, this channel here. So Cosbat is always going to have a place of, of power in my Discord and in my comment section. He's a, a amazing, amazing, amazing figure in this community. No portal there. We get one last angel deal. Come on. Roll big. Roll big. Let's do this. Please. You know what I want. I'm not even going to say it. You know what I want. Oh. I guess you're not what I needed. We got the halo. Um, We'll pop the holy card here. Might as well buy duality for the fun of it. Give this guy some extra cash here. For maybe an extra charge for our last chance of Sacred Heart on this run. Is that a troll bomb? No, it was a regular bomb. Okay, I was like, are we going to get hit here? We're probably going to get hit. There's that. And we can pop that. Okay, Soul Locket is actually hella good. Very, very good. That's more tears for us, sure. Okay, infamy c-section dude well gg we have sword babies now oh yeah we can't lose in fact i might just go fight mega satan right away but i want to get more items we have we have a good luck stat for getting more items as well so yeah why don't, why don't we just you know sort this out here and see what happens i actually am going to also grab how to jump we have school bag so we might as well grab, grab it for bookworm and keep that other thing in the back pocket there but as you can see, uh, we're going to have quite the interesting Mega Satan fight and Blue Baby fight. We are shredding every living thing on the screen right now. Absurd. Actually absurd. Grab this for yourself. Plus, if we find a good, like, super secret room with red hearts in it, we can get a bunch of items and, you know, off of that and then just have a even faster and even more snowball-y Mega Satan fight, which I would, of course, not mind beating him faster. Kind of like everybody's dream is to kill that boss in, like, two seconds. The old ball and chain, baby. Now, I'm going to do a couple of things here. I'm not going to pop my book in the secret room because Epic Fetus would ruin this fun, like, you know, C-section fetus thing here. Uh, I do not want to have any kind of explosion shots right now. Just for that reason alone. Okay, grab your tower card back. And I, I think, you know, we win no matter what happens. We can lose Purity. We can lose Polyphemus. We can lose the Halo. I don't care. We still win this run. You could win a run with just C-Section and Spirit Sword and, like, nothing else. Not even health. You could win with, like, on, as the freaking Tana loss with that build, I feel like. It's kind of crazy how good it really is. And HP? Lovely. 
Homing shots now. All right. D t two times damage up. Okay, sure. I'll take that. I'm not going to complain again. That's very, very nice for us. We might kill Mega Satan in like two frames here. HP. Oh, baby. Okay. Okay. I'm going to play out our Demon Judgment here uh, for sure. Because it gives us more room to um, get Soul Locket drops. And this guy could be nice enough and give me more... No! Oh, oh, we saved his life! You owe, me, you owe me good stuff right now. Thank you. All right. Polaroid bonus here for extra couple of plays. Six plays, guaranteed drop. I'll, you know what? I'll take that. It could be good if we find another angel deal next floor. There's some more plays here. Interesting. Empty heart. We'll get two soul locket bonuses here. Oh, it's only when you pick up stuff. No, okay, that, never, never mind. No soul locket there. You get Binky. You kill Blue Baby in two seconds. Do you get the Void Portal or not? Not here. You did not. That's fine. Backstabber is okay. We can get another heart here. Okay, full clear. Then go fight your Mega Satan. Fight and hope for a Void Portal. If nothing, that's fine. We haven't actually gotten, like... We got one last run. Whatever I ask for a Void Portal, we rarely ever get it anymore. And it's kind of sad. It, there should be a better way, a more guaranteed way, to get a Void Portal by the end of your run. Like, maybe if you've already gotten the mark as that character, you're able to go down there, like, after Mega Satan for guaranteed. That would be a little bit better, I think. But I'm not going to complain about it too much. We already have a great build going on here. There's our secret room. It's greed. Who would have guessed? More money is always nice, you know? For stairway, I guess. More money is never too bad. And uh, we'll look for our super for either a, an angel statue or um, red hearts. We got a black chest, which gave us two hearts for soul locket. Okay. Fine by me. I guess we go fight Mega Satan. You pop your reverse tower in there for the fun of it. And then you, you win your run. This should be a pretty easy victory for us. You also seem to have Rubber Cement with, with uh, C-Section, which is also, again, another amazing synergy because they bounce off walls and just keep going back and forth and back and forth. So, you know, we got to have a, a guaranteed win. I can't stress it enough. They got a nerf C-Section. The Wafer. Okay, now we have an even more guaranteed win there. All right, cool. They have to nerf C-Section. Like, this item is an instantaneous win. Even if you don't have any kind of, like, game-breaking synergies here, it is still an easy free win. All right, walk in. Bar of Soap, pop reverse tower, go onto this. All right. And you have blocked yourself from his tier, so all I get to do now is just stand back here. Yep. Parasite as well is going to make this so easy. Bone Spurs. Okay, great. A lot of book charges here as well. Stopwatch. <laughs> great. Another charge here. Angel, where are you? Oh, the angels. Uh, where did that come from? I guess a boss trapped us that, huh? Put a bomb. I, I want to make sure we actually I I enter our chest at the end of this run. So put, put some bombs down here. No small rock, huh? I heard, a, I heard a, like a dime drop or a nickel drop over there. Okay. Bar of soap. Even more tier raid for us. Please void portal. Please void portal. We got it, boys! Okay, we're going to the Void Floor. We're going to have another Angel Deal plus the Filigree Feather. All right, down we go. It's Delirium time. Just when I thought it couldn't get any more fun, you pull me back in, huh? Ah, shit item. Ah, you can't win them all. And an even shittier item. <laughs> Amazing. Um, Yeah, you know what? You know what? I'm not even going to bother with you. I'm not going to bother with you right now. Just as fast as you can, find Delirium and shred them. I don't care about going for game breaks or extra boss fights here. Whenever you see a boss fight, dude, just walk in and kill it. I'm larger now. Amazing. Amazing. I don't care. I, there's no need. There's an item back there. What? Oh, shit. Hello, Drive. <laughs> Thank you for that one, game. I appreciate it. There's no reason for us to be like, ah, uh, that's him or that's not him, because we will kill him immediately with Holy Mantle and Wafer, either way. And now we have Cursed Eye, which I don't think does anything with this current build, which is kind of nice, because I hate, I hate Cursed Eye. Uh, I will still take it whenever I, you know, see it, because it's fun to take it, but uh, I hate Cursed Eye. 
I am officially a cursed eye hater. After that Gideon fight, I will never go back. I will never, ever, ever go back. Goodbye, wretched. Goodbye, wretched. Goodbye, blue sky. I can't grab that yet. Uh, I hope they... they... So here, here's my thought process, right? Is Kilburn wants to work on both greed mode and the void nets. Obviously, greed mode is a more pressing issue, I think. Personally, however, though, I would rather see them tackle void first because... Selfishly, I go to Void more than I play Green Mode at all. So, I, I do want to see a more interesting run. How does Flatstone work? Oh, it doesn't is the issue. Oh, I guess Parasite Shot's kind of Flatstone. That's a little cool. But I'd rather have them fix Void first because Void is the place you normally go, I think, more often than Green Mode. Now, that is kind of backwards logic, obviously. I want to have a reason to, uh, to go to Green Mode more, but... I don't think with my channel being a streak channel, I'm going to even play Greed when it gets fixed at all. I'll play it for a couple of videos for the streak. That's probably going to be about it, though. And I'm sure they're going to make some nice, well-needed changes to both at the same time. Oh, there's 2020 for us. And there's two boss fights, neither of which can beat Delirium, sadly. We could get an R key here. We got Butterbean. Amazing. My favorite thing. And we fight this boss, who is the Frail. You are instantly dead, by the way. Gave us a guppy item. Okay. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. We'll uh, keep going around here, I guess. And this one could be him. It was Conquest. Sadly, it was not Delirium. We get Navi for crawl spaces and secret rooms. You're going nowhere, aren't you? Okay. Yeah, you're just wandering. I'm not going to worry about you right now. But yeah, you know, I, I think that either way, like, I'm going to be happy when they, when they buff either one, but... It kind of would be nice to see no updates for like two months and then just randomly one day. By the way, greed mode is fixed and uh, <laughs> um, void is also fixed same time. That would be kind of nice to see. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Arky. Ooh, battery pack, huh? Eye drops, blue cap, and nothing out of that. Well, we can get a charge here. Hold on. Lost, that's also really good. Another gulp pill for yourself. And not delirium once again. Okay. Fine. I'll keep walking around. Are we mom yet? We are still not the mom transformation either. Funny. We fought one, two, three, four, five. We only have like three more fights to go through max here. Or like four more than max. So he can't be too far away, can he? And again, at this point in the run, we'd be on womb two right now. Or Womb, Womb 1. Maybe even Depths 2 still. Because we had that whole, like, red key debacle. So we'd probably still be on Depths 2 last run. It's nice to have a slightly faster and more, you know, quick-paced and powerful run than last runs. Whatever the hell you would call that. Uh, it, it, I've been having less and less powerful, powerful runs as of recent. I don't know if it's the characters, my play, or what. But I've been seeing less and less DPS, which is fine. I, I'm still winning these runs, and I'm still having good stats, but uh, to the guy who plays out my same seeds in the comments down below, uh, I want to know what your secret is, man, because you said my Tana Laz run ended off with really, really good stats. I could not say the same. I, I did not really have uh, that amazing of a build. I had the Ludovico Godhead thing going on, but regular DPS was not that good. What, what's your secret, BD1 PC player? I gotta know, man. I gotta know. Large zit, huh? Amazing. My favorite. We have infinite wisps. We should not be popping this. We should be saving it for when we lose other wisps. So we don't end up, you know, taking over our Eve's Mascara or stuff like that. Be more conservative with it if you can. A little bit more conservative with it. This should be our last juncture of fights coming up here. The map cannot go anywhere else but right. And I guess now it can go... Well, it can only still go right. It can't go down. And now it can only go up. And now I can once again only go up for a boss fight here. And there's two boss fights here. Delirium is the top one. He can't be anywhere else. I'm going to go down here, grab this. We're going to walk into here. Pop this, sure. Get some extra wisp for protection there. Here is your last fight before Delirium. And you get the mom transformation. Yo, we finally got it. The run's over, GG. A big luck up pill at the, the last moment, huh? Alrighty. Well... Just pop your wisps. Oh, great. Monsuma's revenge, huh? Just shoot and don't worry. Oh, my God. Just shoot and don't worry, I guess. Just don't worry. 
Okay. I mean, what can you say about that one, huh? If you enjoyed that run and my commentary, like and a sub goes a long way for a smaller channel like mine. Aside from that, guys, I have been BD1P. Join my Discord and my Twitch, but I will see you guys later. Peace out and goodbye.